Hi guys, full run through here. Uh, today I'm going to do something a little bit different than what I've done before. I'm going to be showing you how to make a Minecraft server for the new update 1.6.1. There are a few slight differences in the 1.6.1 than making any other server. So the first thing you need to do is pull up your internet browser, go to minecraft.net, which is here. So then you need to go to download now, and the first thing you need to do is find this right here, Minecraft server uh, dot 1.6.1 jar, and download that. And you can just save that right now to your desktop. Okay, once that's done, you're going to have your server dot jar right here. The next thing you need to do is create a new folder, and I'm just going to call this Minecraft server two because I've done this before and I don't want it to interfere with anything else and just click and drag this dot jar file into that folder and then you can just leave that folder open for right now so the next thing you need to do is go and find text edit which the easiest way to do that is to go here type in text and text edits the first thing that pops up so then you need to just create new document Go to Format, Make Plain Text. Make sure it's in plain text mode and that all of this, the font sizes and your margins right here, are not there. So you need to just go to Make Plain Text, and that's all you need. So now here's where the difference is in the old way of making it. All you need to do is go into the description, copy and paste uh, the code that I've got in the description, and just copy it and paste it into the untitled file that you have right now. So you just paste that. So this is what you normally see. This is what you've seen forever anytime you've ever made a Minecraft server. This is what you see. So the one difference is going to be that where it says Minecraft server dot jar right here, you need to replace that with the new file name because now the server's name is Minecraft server dot one point six point one dot jar you need to change this right here now there's a few ways you can do that you can either just go server dot one point six point one dot jar and then that's fine or another thing you could do is go here uh, highlight the dot jar click enter highlight the whole thing copy and then come over here erase that and hit paste so now you've got minecraft server one or minecraft server point one point six point one dot jar that is what you need and then you go to file save find your server so minecraft server two is where i'm going to save it and then you need to name it the same as always start dot command and save that file so now you've got your start.command right here. So now the next thing you need to do is allow this file to be made and also it's going to add the rest of the files that you've got for your world. So you need to go back to your spotlight, type in terminal, and then this is going to pull up. And what you need to do is type in chmod space a plus X space. You need to make sure you've got that space there so you can do this. You click the start.command file, click it and drag it into the terminal. And then once you see all this, you just click enter. And then now you can just quit terminal. So the next thing you need to do is actually open your file and open your server. So you just click start.command. This will pull up. This will also pull up. There's another way that you can get rid of this. I forgot to do it, but I'll show you towards the end of the video. So you can just minimize that for now if that pulls up. And now you've got all your server info right here. So now, just to see if it works, so you're just going to go into your Minecraft. All of this is going to pull up. This is the new window. Then you go, you should already have all of your information and everything typed in. You see I've got version release 1.6.1, 1.6.1, and I'm just going to hit play. 
it's going to go through all the loading screens and then it'll pull up your 1.1 or your 1.6.1 um, Minecraft launcher you just go to multiplayer and then there's a way to get your uh, IP address and all that for if you want to give it to your friends I'm not going to show that in this video I'm just going to show you that this is the server that it needs to be but if it's not there yet you just need to type in add server name it whatever you want so I'm going to go server 2 and then you're going to type in the server address right here the best way to do that is to go to what's my IP.com or what is my IP.com the link will be in the description of that that's what you give to your friends but for right now I'm not gonna worry about that because that's a whole nother process so I just want to prove to you now that the server works and there you go wow this is actually a really good seed already I'm gonna actually give you this seed just because that's a really good spawn but as you can see the server works and everything is just the way it should be I don't know how to get inside of this place and it's gonna be a while so anyway uh, just because I can I'm gonna go seed I do not have permission to use this command uh, okay so that means I am not opt in my server which I will show you how to do that right now I can't figure out how to get inside of here Okay, so what you need to do to opt players is once you've got all of these files open, you've got your world file, your band IPs, band players, server logs, and all that, you want to go into ops.txt, and it'll just open it up like this, and you want to type in your name. So my name is full run through, and then you just want to save that. You can type in any other names in here for your friends' names and all that that you would want in your server. So you just go file, save. So now that is what you need to op yourself. As you saw, I couldn't use that command earlier. So now that you're back in your Minecraft world uh, and you're opt now, you should be. I should be able to go seed. I still don't have permission to use this. Um, okay, oh, I know what I did wrong. I have to disconnect. To stop your server, you pull back up the terminal window, type in stop. That'll save any changes you've done and then you can just easily go back and go start.command and then just easily go back in and now I should be able to go seed that is the seed for this world you spawn literally right next to a jungle temple that is one of the best seeds I've ever gotten so that is all you need to know on how to make a Minecraft 1.1 or 1.6.1 server. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if uh, this video wasn't very well put together. This is one of my first uh, server tutorials that I've ever done, and I was a little bit nervous. So I will see you next time. But first, I'm actually going to find out what loot is in this temple. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to, go check out my server series of me and my friend Jonathan playing Vex's Inferno Mines. There's a new episode every Monday, so uh, just go follow that and have fun playing Minecraft. I'll see y'all next time.
Uh, and one more thing before I go. I wanted to show you how to stop that second window from pulling up. So what you're going to do is go back to text edit. This is what you need to do when you actually make the server. So this should be one of the first things you do. Go to format, make plain text, paste in your code, and right after you switch this to Minecraft server dot one point one six point one dot jar right after the dot jar you need to type in no GUI that right there is going to keep you from having to go through all of that extra files pulling up and all that because those files really aren't needed and that's all you need so then you just go through the whole thing go into terminal start dot command and all that so once again thank you for watching uh, that temple obviously didn't turn out to be that good you get two emeralds out of it so if you can find a village somewhere else that's not important right now so once again thank you for watching don't forget to like and share this with your friends if it was helpful and i'll see you next time